What is good? This is gonna be Trip to the Thrift numero 17. Hold up, let's jump into something real quick. I'm about to make a little trade. Got the Tommy jacket, making the trade. Yep. Here's the members only checker. Thanks, man. And the headphones. And the headphones. That's still, what's up, dude. Still you haven't even opened them? No. That's what's you up, opened dude. it like on. Remember that Tommy bomber that I came up on? I actually made the trade today for two pieces. So I traded him the Tommy Hill figure um, bomber for these Power Beats 2 wireless headphones. They are brand new, as you can see, still intact. And also, the homie threw on top a color blocking members only windbreaker. So I got this windbreaker and this pair of Beats headphones for the bomber. So my first stop today was Salvation Army and I came across a Nautica competition with zippered hood inside a uh, sailing jacket. It's right there, Nautica competition. It's got the Nautica hits on the zippers. It's got the Nautica right there. It's got the little rubber patch right here. It's actually got like 3M hits on the collar and on the lining of the jacket. But look at the back of this. So here's the hood. There's the Nautica competition. Look at the bottom. Nautica sail competition. Super fire. About to cop this. First cop of the day. Let's go. Found this pair of Adidas sweats. I might get these. They're pretty nice. You can see right there it says Clima Heat. It's got the zippers going down legs and then it's got the little side pocket right here the zipper they're pretty clean and they're only six dollars so thinking about it we'll see in the shoe section they don't really got much in here you got some nikes right there you got some hyperizes right here you got some lebrons right here pretty used though some boat shoes on this vintage Tommy khaki jacket. It's got the little flag right there. It's super stained on. It's pretty dirty, so I'm gonna have to pass on this. Taxing on this one right here. Heli Henson, super heavy duty jacket, $20. The Columbia in the blue and black colorway, extra large. The Proline Reebok, New England Patriots pullover. This one's actually a vintage kids shirt, but a female could wear this. Just a Tommy Hilfiger t-shirt, nothing on the back. And then I found a kids Tommy Hilfiger zip up track jacket, Tommy Sport. In the shoe section and they got some Prestos here. <laughs> so Skechers, but they look like Prestos extra hard. And they got some A-Life, New York City. These are pretty dope. All whites, $22. Found this vintage members only puffer jacket. Yeah, right there, it's got the pockets, size 40, $8. Found this women's champion hoodie. Pretty clean, it's just in the salmon colorway and then it's got the champion patch right there. Found this gift jacket for women also, but they're taxing, $18.99. It's just got a big, guess, stitching right there on the back. Nothing too crazy, but gonna have to pass. So I'm in Goodwill and I found two bootleg FUBU pieces, FUBU Sports, FUBU Sports, in the lime green colorway. Nothing in the back, and this one right here, it's like a polo long sleeve. Got the FB right there. This one right here is fire. You guys know I love finding vintage Boss. So I found a stitched in Boss America crew neck in a purple colorway. Copying this for sure. I found a satin Riviera jacket. It's got a Riviera Hotel and Casino in the back. Size large. I found a women's guest jeans hoodie. It says right there, guess all over the long sleeve. Super dope piece for a girl. And then I found this, the Radio City Rockettes stitched in crew neck by 
leaf. Size XL, nothing in the back. I found a vintage Peli Peli middle fleece sweater. I don't know about this one, my cop might not. This one right here is crazy. I think it is vintage. It says Converse right there. It's got the zipper, but the thing is, it says Dr. J right there. And it says right here, Converse Dr. J All Star. And then it's got the stars going down the sides of the piece. And then nothing in the back. So we'll see what I'm gonna cut. Found a size small, <clears throat> members only. Super bright pink women's jacket. I found a $6 size XL like a raincoat Columbia in the green colorway uh, denim a lead denim jacket extra large it just says over 1 million safe hours Chevron El Segundo nothing on the back I was pretty sad about that you know I found this newer tee it is a triple A but it's dope it says up in smoke Cheech and Chong and then on the back it's got some more screen printing I found two Mickey pieces this first one is a flag Mickey American Sport. It's in pretty bad shape though, so I'm gonna have to pass. This one right here, Mickey Unlimited. Ten dollars though, the tax. And it just says Happy Holidays. Fake me out. Looks just like a polo bear shirt. Eland. What the? In the shoe section, got some pro models, bunch of hooper shoes, some Under Armors. Mm. What? Some bread and leathers? Man, these are super fake. Crazy though to find them in the thing. Alright, so we're in Goodwill and I found two pieces. This is a newer one. It's a uh, triple A. But it's a Raiders tee. See right there in the back. Oakland Raiders. New improved. We'll pass first, ask questions later. Alright, so this trip to the drift is gonna be a little different because I'm with the homies right now. Look at these guys. Hello, dog. Haha, -ha, I got a hula hoop. These guys are actually right, doing world record. One, two, three, get them. Terrence. Sorry about it. Hey, man, it's a fashion. What? <laughs> so the only thing here is a Stussy piece for $14.98. So varsity jacket. It's got the Stussy screen printing right there. On the sleeve and on the chest. And then I found a Nike size medium Lakers quarters it. This is pretty dope, but they're taxing 25, so I'm gonna have to pass on both. Oh no. So I actually found a guess crew neck. This is actually bootleg because that's not an actual guest tag, but it is only $2.95. I'm still gonna cop this. Um, this is still a pretty dope piece, but this right here, these are crazy. For $2.95, I found a vintage pair of Levi's denim, Levi's sport jeans. It's got the zipper on the pockets. It's got Velcro adjustments in the bottom. And then you see in the back, it's got the little, it's got the little triangle right there. It says Levi's sport. The hook. These are crazy. These are super good. Couple of these for sure. So we just found this regular uh, Tommy Hilfiger uh, swim trunks. Yeah. Those are whatever? Yeah, it's like whatever. Should we cop? Let me see the back. Tommy Hilfiger on the leg. Should we pass on it? Yeah. Yeah? Sorry. You guys know what it means when the knife comes out. Unboxing? Alright, we'll save that for the end build some anticipation but yeah let's jump into this haul I have quite a few pieces to show you guys so let's go a Lee brand crew neck stitched in in the silver like shiny stitching it says the Radio City Rockettes I'm gonna try and resell this if not might go on my Instagram bootleg bootleg FUBU jersey FUBU sports in the super bright green colorway 
Uh, Paul Cantu, if you're watching this, let me know if you're interested and I will send it your way. Right here we have a vintage Converse jersey. On the zipper it says Dr. J. It's a little quarter zip. And right here on the patch says Converse All-Star Dr. J as well. With the stripes going down. You guys saw me pick this up. Let's go. Another bootleg piece, but I had to cop. I will just be wearing this pretty often in the winter. It is a bootleg crew neck. Guess in the heather gray colorway. It's just got the blue Guess logo right there. Obviously the tag is not real, but it was only $2, so I had to cop this. Another crew neck, we have a vintage, all stitched in Boss America with a little color blocking line right there in the green, yellow, and purple. Probably gonna keep this in the personnel. This piece I am going to be wearing a lot. I found a vintage pair of Levi's Sport jeans. You see the patch right there. Super crazy. You guys already saw the detailing in the video while I was thrifting. Super hyped on these. Right here, you guys saw that I picked up a vintage Nautica Competition sailing jacket. It's got the 3M hits, crazy colorway. And then you guys saw that it has a huge patch on the bottom of the booty. I found a vintage Tommy Trunks in the red, blue colorway. Got hill figures spell out right there on the left leg. Nice to find the second pair of Tommy Trunks. All right guys, so now let's get into the unboxing. I'm pretty hyped about these. I picked this up off of eBay. Side note, if you guys are looking to buy any of these pieces, I decided to shut down my website and I'm actually selling everything through Instagram. So make sure you go to my Instagram and you'll see I'm posting almost daily of pickups that I find and um, pieces that I'm trying to sell. So make sure to go check it out, follow me so you always see the pieces that I'm uploading because they're actually going pretty quick. So yeah, let's get into the inbox. In my opinion, I think this was a steal. You guys see it right there. What is that? It's that Tommy though. Got the Tommy shoe box. Shout out to Kais. I got a vintage Tommy shoe box. Hey, this box is crazy. It's got the flag on both sides. Uh, these are actually from the 1990s. Crazy pair of vintage hiking boots. These are super crazy. Let me just put this super fire box aside. Let me just lay this right. This looks super dope right there. Look at these. These are so freaking sick. It is a size 11 and a half, my size. He still has the, um, the tissue paper in there. I think these are pretty much brand new. Let me give you an up close look. You see it's got the purple hits right there on the inner sole. It's got the red laces. It's got the gray and black uh, lace hoops. You see right there, it's got the black like rubberized bottom and then a green, um, also rubber as well. Um, but look at the back. It's got the flag on both heels right there. It's got the red uh, tabs. And then, man, this this purple's killing me. That's so clean. You see the bottoms right there? Still has a lot of grip on them. I actually picked these up for $27 plus shipping. So this was a pretty crazy steal off of eBay. Um, I think these are wearable. Um, I'm probably gonna wear these. These are so sick. I can wear these. Shit. My bad. I might wear them. I might just throw them up for display or, you know, throw them on for some outfits for you guys. But dang, man, these are so sick. These are so fire. And they're my size. I cannot wait to wear these. Damn. Let's go. Another side note. If we do get this video to 300 likes, I will do another giveaway on my next video and I promise it will be a fire piece. Um, but yeah, so 300 likes, hit that like button down below, leave me a positive comment, hit 300 and I will do a giveaway for sure on the next video. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this trip to the thrift, numero 17, uh, yeah, you guys already know the slogan, so let's wrap it up, Hey, man. To fashion was good.